Hello and welcome to the quick tour of Groupthink. Groupthink is a new, safe and accessible website aimed at young people 13 to 18. It aims to promote reading, writing and creativity to young people. And it's also for professionals, librarians, teachers, youth workers, really anyone who works with young people who'd like to be part of it to promote reading and writing. At the heart of Groupthink are groups. So here's an example of one that we've set up, the Groupthink group. So on your group, any group that you set up, and you can set up as many as you want, you can you do a description, you can do updates to alert your members about what you're doing or there's something happening that you want them to know about. You can stack the shelf, which is a core part of the group. So you can add in books, type, um, games, music and films onto that shelf. And any member of the group can do this as well. You can also set up private or open groups. So if you set up a private group, it's really just by invitation only. And if it's an open group, it means that any young person on the site can join your group. So against that, against any title that you've got, you can set up uh, rates and uh, you can rate and review it. And young people can do that as well. You can also set up chat threads. So if there's a really hot topic going on, you can set up a chat thread around that. Young people can also upload their writing, any photographs or artwork they're doing, videos and audio onto the creative things part of the group page. And again, young people can comment or give advice to other young people about what they're doing and producing. Just show you another example of a group with a bit more other functionality on it. So also on a group page, you can list events or workshops that might be running for young people and you can promote it through to them. You can also create polls. So if you're doing some consultation or you just want to have a bit of fun, then you can have polls on your group page as well. You can also start creating a network. You can add a group friend. So if there's particular groups that you really like or the young people like, they can add them and start creating their network. The site is post-moderated for young people, so that means that they can't talk on a one-to-one -one basis in terms of, uh, they can't exchange their email addresses, and so it's a very safe site for them to have a directed conversation. One of the other key parts of Groupthink is the blog, and on the blog there's lots of features and sneak previews. So you can see, read first chapters, get sneak previews of films and stuff like that will be happening. There's also tips from creative writers and other creative artists to uh, encourage young people and give them advice about uh, their own writing or whatever they're creating to do with words. There's also lots of free stuff and competitions that will be running on the site as well that young people can become involved in. The aim of the blog is that young people will be editors of the blog and creating the content for it on the young people's side of the site. The creative part of the site just showcases all the creative work that young people are producing. And again, they, uh, other young people can rate and comment and give advice to them. On the chat side of the site, young people can have lots of discussions and we'll be putting in writers in residence on the chat forums so that they can have conversations with them as well. Subscribers to the site get access to the professional side which is hidden from young people and this if you do subscribe to the site this is where you'll, you'll start off really. The whole point of this is that as professionals we stay this side and young people can manage the other side of the site themselves. So as a professional subscriber, you can obviously find more information out about the site itself. You get your own set of frequently asked questions. You can also launch a group from the professional side. And as a professional subscriber, you actually get additional uh, functionality in your group pages. There's also the professional blog, so again there'll be news about upcoming stuff which you might be interested in or want to be involved in. 
you'll get advance notice about what's coming up on group things so you can plan your work or take advantage of any offers we've got going on the site for professionals and there'll be lots of features so some of the current content is around freedom of expression in young people's writing there's going to be regular columns on manga and graphic novels on the web and on games and lots of interaction between members, be they publishers, writers, librarians, teachers, youth workers. There will also be resources available to you as well as a subscriber to the site. So that will range from free books and stuff like that to, as you can see here, tips on booking a poet, to projects that might be taking place that you might want to be involved in. There's also the Group Think Professional Forum and again this is where you can talk to other professionals about what you're doing and sh share your news on, and list what you might be up to as well as just having general discussions and getting advice from other members of the site.